Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Hard Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make fresh homemade rice noodle. Today I use a uh, rice flour. I use a uh, uh, tapioca starch. I use the aloo s t a r Okay, only three three different flour and very easy to make. And also for this uh, fish rice noodle, we use a lot for the Thai recipe and Thai cuisine. We can use for the noodle soup. We can use for pasi e l or we can use for lad na. Um, so many many different recipe. Okay, we let's get started. First, I'm going to use rice flour. One cup one cup of rice flour. Okay, go one, one cup of rice flour. Go in. Second will be one fourth cup of tapioca s t a r c and third will be a l a l o o s t a r c One fourth cup still. Also one fourth cup for the a l a l o o s t a r c Okay, and now we have all three different flour. Now we're gonna start mix them together. Next, we're gonna mix the water together with our flour. I have a one and a half cup of uh, water. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna put the water a little bit at a time. Yeah, and keep mixing them slowly. Okay, and add a little bit more. A little bit at a time. Let them mix u uh, slowly. After we add the uh, water, a little bit at a time. As you can see, now the batter still very thick, like a pancake. And we still have more water to add on. But this is a very good way to work um, to make our flour work very good to add a little bit of water at a time. Okay. Um, not try to add the water at the one time, uh, because at that way maybe your flour not will work really good. So and then now I will add the less water I have. Yep. All right. Continue mix them another few more minutes, and the batter should look like very thin like this. Okay, now after you um, add some, all the water and mix them well already, now let it sit another five to seven minutes to just let our flour work better. While we wait for our batter to let u uh, five to seven minutes, we have enough time, perfect time to uh, getting everything ready. I have the steamer going. I have my uh, baking pan. I use the eight by eight baking pan. I ordered it from Amazon. Um, they're perfect because they're a little bit thin, so it will be easy for your noodle to cook. If you um, want to buy the same that you, I'm just gonna put the link below so you can easy for you to find on Amazon. Okay, and next we're gonna prepare before we steaming. I'm gonna put the cooking oil. I use the um, canola oil. You just gonna use the b u s h and put it all under. Your baking pan. So you, for we make sure our um, noodle not gonna stick on the pan, and then I gonna use the paper towel to wipe it off a little bit. Okay, and now the use the paper towel to wipe it off a little bit, so not over oil when you put your um, batter into it. Okay, and now being perfect time. Now we gonna start to steam our fish noodle. Okay, now our water is getting uh, boil. I gonna start uh, put our batter into the baking pan. Okay, don't forget every time you need to stir before you use them. Okay, and I use the one third cup of the spoon. Okay. Yep. Okay, so it will be a little bit hot before um, when I put inside the steamer. So I have my cup ready. Okay, and I use the uh, one third cup, and then I add a little bit more uh, because uh, I want the, all the noodle uh, lay fat in my baking pan. And now I try to make them even. Okay, and now I gonna let our um, batter cook four to five minutes up to your up to your steamer. And up to your baking pan also. Okay, now um, being five minutes, our first batch is done. Okay, 
Let's see, see the color it changed and also the uh, noodle a little bit of pop it up a little bit that's been our um, rice noodle it cook and now I'm gonna take it out okay and set it on the side until it cool down a little bit so we can handle and now we can move on to the neck butt okay do the same thing for the first one okay I use one third cup and then I will add a little bit more for my noodle can cover easier in the pan okay. do the same thing right and then I'm gonna cover this again um, about five minutes but for the time just depend how thick is your pan and how big your um, steamer also our first batch is cooled out and the second batch cooking. Now we can um, cool down so we can handle with our hand. I'm gonna use the cooking oil to bust on top the our rice noodle. Okay, make sure you bust all the oil all over the noodle. Alright, and then now I'm gonna use the spatula. Try to help me remove the noodle. Mmm, look at this noodle. Look, they cook perfect and then now I'm gonna um, put it down on our cutting board and also you have to put the oil um, on the bottom of your cutting board first too so make sure your noodle not stick okay now we're gonna do all this until our we're gonna do all this until our um, batter is finished and we come back and look at noodle together Okay, and this uh, fifth batch done. Wow, look at how beautiful. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna set this on the side, and my last batch gonna go in. Whoa, look at this. I I think I end up about six batch total. Okay. Okay, now I just took the last batch of our steamer. Okay, and do the same thing all the time okay now i'm gonna use the spatula again mm. nice and chewy if you can see mm. okay. yep and paste them stack together whoop yep yep and now we're ready to cut our noodle and now we end up with six batches okay and now we really need to cut our fresh rice noodle okay. if you can see maybe they're not even on the edge but that's okay this is a home um then now i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut in about one inch thick okay but then you can cut bigger or smaller sometimes depend what you're gonna use them for okay Have to be nice and chewy okay and one more wow perfect the last one might be a little bit smaller than other but that's fine cut your home mixed all right and now here we done just it our fresh rice noodle okay and i will show you mm, how nice and they're supposed to be nice and chewy. Hmm, let me show you. Yep, and all you have to do, you're just gonna separate them like this. So you can use for your um, stir fry noodle, or you can use them for soup, rice soup, right? Um, rice noodle soup, or you can cut them smaller or bigger. It's up to you. Hmm. Okay, and now I will finish separating all our noodle, and we come back and looking together. That's it. All we done our fresh rice noodle. You can make it thicker, you can make it thinner, or you can cut it bigger. You can cut it smaller. It's all up to you. And this noodle will be really chewy and really good texture for you, and easy to make. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like this recipe. Please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and I will see you for the next recipe. Thank you.